Nobody got time for that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got an overwhelming response of people demanding for a part two of my teaching stories. If you haven't checked out my first video, I will go ahead and link that in the card right up here and down below in the description down here. So you should go check that out. Or if you've already seen it, just go watch it again for kicks and giggles. In my first video, I told some stories from my first year of teaching, but today, in part two, I am going to tell you a story that happened during my second year of teaching. But before I do, it's time for story time, the time when I tell you a story. to do kind of a creepy vibe with that since this story time is kind of you know what never mind let's get into it so if you all read the title of this video you probably can guess what this story is going to be about let me go ahead and give you a little background information before we just dive right into the story so last year around this time a movie called it came out and for those of you who do not know what this movie is about there is something called google use it <laughs> all you need to know for this story is that there is a clown in the movie named Pennywise and he can transform into things like red balloons. I watched this movie when it came out to theaters and I personally loved it. The storyline and the acting were great. I would recommend this movie to people who are 18 years or older, not to children who are seven. Something I have learned after teaching this generation of kids is that parents will let their kids watch anything. Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of editing this video, obviously, and what I just said now about parents letting their kids watch anything, I feel like sound a little pretentious and I didn't mean to come across like that. So to the parents watching this, I don't mind what you let your kid watch. You you parent, you do you. I do mention later in the video about parents again, and I just don't want to come across like I'm telling you how to parent. Like I said, I don't mind your kid watching what they watch. I just, I do mind when they come into the classroom and talk about it. I'm just trying to be comedic, but anyways, guys, parents, you do you. Keep on rocking. Enjoy the rest of the video. For example, my pre-Kers would talk about the show The Walking Dead. Bruh. Four-year-old watching zombies tear people apart. Just, just ponder on that for a moment. Anyways, let's just get into the story. So last year I taught second grade and the movie It came out during this time. And like I said, I saw it and didn't really think about it again. Until a situation happened in my class. One day as my students were at workstation and I was back at my teaching table doing a small group, I overheard a group of students at one of the workstations talking about clowns. Now I wasn't too worried because it was October and it was around Halloween time, so I just thought they were talking about Halloween things. <laughs> Yeah, no. They were talking about the movie It. I immediately turned and asked this group of students if they had seen the movie It, and one of my students said yes, that they had seen it in theaters, and then the others were saying they had seen a trailer of it. Parents, what are you doing? I am not even a mother, but I know for a fact that I would not let my seven-year-old child watch this type of movie. Goodness gracious, I could barely handle this movie. I mean, do you really want your child sleeping with you for the rest of your life? Because that is what is going to happen if you let your child watch horror movies. I told the group of students that this is not appropriate to talk about at school and that I just didn't want to hear about it from now on. Didn't think of it again until a week later, I got an email from a parent. I will just summarize this email for you. Basically, a concerned mother emailed me saying that when her child had come home from school, she checked her backpack just to see if there was any homework or paper she needed to check. Instead, 
she found this lovely picture. What? I love clowns. Yes, one of my students drew this picture and decided to just put it into another student's backpack. The mother was concerned, obviously. I mean, rightly so. These children are seven years old. They shouldn't even know what the movie It is. I told the mom that I would talk to the child that did this and I would just take care of the whole situation. I didn't want to make a big deal of it in class, so I pulled the student aside who drew the picture and talked to them about it and they fessed up saying they drew the picture. But here's the thing. They didn't just draw one picture and put it into one backpack. Oh no. This kid drew multiple repeating pictures and snuck them into a ton of students' backpacks. No. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come Dear Jesus, please, please, please do not let parents check backpacks tonight. Amen. I had a big talk with the student and said that we cannot draw pictures like this at school and the student understood and it was all good. All was well. The students weren't talking about clowns or the movie and I didn't think about the movie It until another situation arised. Oh yes, I thought the it problems were over. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. It was not over. It was not over. It was not over. One fine morning, a few days after the first incident, one of my sweet little boys walked in with a very baggy t-shirt on. It looked like he was wearing his dad's t-shirt because like I said, it was very big and kind of went down to his knees. I didn't think anything of it until I saw what was on his shirt. His shirt had Pennywise, the dancing clown on it. Again, I asked, why parents? Why would you let your child wear this to school? I just took care of the it picture situation and brought peace to the entire classroom. And then this happens. Before this student with the lovely Pennywise shirt on could walk into the classroom and sit down at his desk, I quietly set him aside and told him to go to the office and change his shirt. Normally, I wouldn't mind a student wearing this type of shirt, but this whole it situation was freaking my students out and it had to be stopped. It had to be, it had to be stopped. No pun intended. After he changed his shirt, I realized it was time to have a talk with the entire class about it. So we had a class meeting and I told my students that the topic of clowns or red balloons are not allowed in class. The end. <laughs> After that talk, I can say with confidence that I never had a problem with it again. Praise the Lord! All I can say is it was a dang good time. Yeah, so that story had such an abrupt ending, but I really didn't have any problems with clowns or pictures or it or anything like that again, which was a miracle. So I was a happy teacher. Whew, what a mess. What? I felt like that story was everywhere. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed part two of my teaching stories. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, I would love to have you all back here. I love telling stories and entertaining you guys. It's so fun telling stories from my teaching. And I just wanna say guys, no matter what, at the end of the day, like I love kids, I love my students. I don't want anyone to take offense to this. I'm just trying to find the humor of teaching and just what kids do. It just brings some comedy to uh, 
this day and age. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want you to comment below ridiculous things that maybe you did in elementary school or even if you're in school now, ridiculous things that you have done to your teachers or whatever. I wanna hear from you guys. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. I love y'all so much. Peace and blessings.